spray keeps the doctor away. Have you heard of that? So, maths ke liye kya bol sakte hain? A problem a day, question a day, keeps the fear of maths away. Yes or no? So, learn that now. That should be your mathematical mantra. Okay, see now. We have done all these things. Now, if you remember it, I told you in the previous class also, just a recap and then we do something new. On the horizontal line, sine of any angle will be zero, no perpendicular. Cosine of any angle on the horizontal line is one or minus one. It is one towards the right of origin and minus one towards the left of origin. On the vertical line, sine of any angle will be one above origin and minus one below the origin. I hope you remember all these things. Cosine yes. any angle on the vertical line is zero and this is what we have to do. This is important table. Then you can see below. This I told you. 90 minus theta in the first quadrant will lie 90 minus any angle will lie in the first quadrant 90 plus theta will lie in the second quadrant 180 minus theta lies in the second in the second quadrant 180 plus theta will lie in which quadrant 180 third plus quadrant. Quadrant. Third, quadrant. third quadrant third quadrant okay so all these things we have already discussed now i change on to the next thing some questions are there that we'll do Next screen. See. All these also now some I have left in this table. If you can see, I have left some places blank. And we are going to fill at random. I hope you remember it. 90 and 270. What did I tell you? 90 and 270. The function remains the same. Function changes. And 180 and 360. The function remains the same. And the positive negative according to the quadrant. Like now, say for example, some I have filled up, some I have left blank. Okay. So first one is okay done. In this one, what is tan 90 minus theta? Anybody can answer tan 90 minus theta? theta. I'm cot theta. Cot theta. Cot theta. Very good. Huh? At random we are doing it. This is cot theta. Okay. Set 180 minus theta. Remember the rules. Set 180 minus theta. This is which quadrant? Uh, in one second quadrant. Second quadrant. Minus cosec. Minus cosec theta. Minus 180 function remains the same. Remember. So what will the answer be? Minus sec theta. Minus sec theta. Okay. Function remains. Just uh, at random so that we can do it fast. Now then we come to say I come to this uh, sine 360 plus theta. 360 again function remains the same. Um, first quadrant. First, first quadrant. And what will this be equal to? Sin theta. Sin theta. Sin theta. Sin theta. Very good. Na? Okay. Now say cos 180 plus theta. I'm third quadrant. I'm third quadrant. And it will minus be cos theta. Minus cos theta. Very good. Minus cos theta. Very good. And now cos 270 plus theta. Fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant. Fourth and it will be. Mam tan four quadrant minus tan theta. So this, this I think all of you this is clear. This concepts are clear, okay? Okay, so this is done. Just a recap of what we had done. Now based on this only, these questions are there. So we are going to do this question again. That day I told you two cases we are doing it. The first case was when angle lies between theta and sorry. The first case is when angle lies between 0 and 360. So in that case, what we have to do? We have to express our angles as 180 minus 180 plus 270 minus 270 plus like that. So first tan of also like one more formula I need to tell you over here. What is sine of minus theta and uh, this thing? So now in this, if you remember this angle, if I draw it out, just see. We'll do one thing. One more result, we'll do it. Sine of minus theta will do. One more result we are going to do. So suppose I have this. 
this and I draw a triangle over here. But again, I'll just do it. Let it be a vertical line, this thing. So first thing we are doing is the coordinate axis. These are your coordinate axis. In this, say I take a triangle. This is your triangle. Same way we take a triangle. Angles measured in anti-clockwise direction are what? I told you something. This angle in this direction, this suppose it is equal to, we take this angle as theta. And if in the downward direction, if we take this angle will be minus theta. See theta magnitude is the same. Magnitude is the same. This is the perpendicular hypotenuse base. Hypotenuse is positive and this will be in the downward direction minus P. So from the figure that day also we discussed, we know that sine of sine of theta will be equal to what? From the figure you can see it is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Sine of minus theta. Sine of sine from the figure sine of minus theta. In the figure, what is it? It is equal to, you can see it is perpendicular in the downward direction minus P upon H. This can I write it as minus outside P upon H, which is same as minus sine theta or no? So remember the first result. The first result here is sine of minus theta is equal to minus sine of theta. Is it clear or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Similarly, if I do the cos of minus theta, see from the figure, cos of minus theta. Cos minus theta, base is same for both the triangles, whether, whether it is lying in the first quadrant or second quadrant, yes or no? So base is the same. So in this case, it will be base upon hypotenuse which is equal to same as cos theta, okay? Which is same as cos theta. So now second result is cos minus theta will be equal to cos theta. Now if one, you know third, I think you can automatically write what will be tan of minus theta? tan of minus theta will be equal to minus minus, minus tan theta. Yes, clear? Minus. minus. Similarly, you can write the others also. Like that, okay? Cot minus theta you can complete. So these are the next set of results. Sine of minus theta, cos minus theta, tan minus theta, like that, okay? Now, based on this and whatever we have done, 90 plus minus, these questions are there. Some will do, rest you can try it later, okay? So we just move on to this thing. Now see, first one, tan of minus 120. Tan minus 120, first question we are doing. Tan of minus 120, so first step, it will be written as minus tan using the fact what tan of minus theta is minus tan theta. Now this we can express it as either 180 minus what angle? 120 60. is one, 180 yeah, minus, minus 60. 60. That you can do it or also we can do it tan 90 plus how much? 30. 30. 90 plus 30. Now this is 180, function remains the same. It is in second quadrant. In second quadrant, tan is what, negative or positive? Negative. Negative. Negative, negative, negative will become positive then, right? Out here already we are having a negative sign. And what is tan 60? Root 3. Root 3. Answer for this is root 3, okay? So this we had discussed earlier also. I hope you all remember it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Second, I'm doing now, say, cos of this one. We'll take this. Now, 
Now, first we are going to make use of the fact cos of minus theta is what? Minus cos theta. Cos of theta. Cos theta, remember. Just visualize the figure. Na? Base is same for minus theta as well as theta. Okay, so cos of minus theta is cos theta. And then we now applying this fact, this angle will be equal to cos of 315. 315, we can express it as 360. Okay. 360 Not 270 degree plus 45 degree. Both are correct. 360 minus 45 also and 270 plus 45. Both, both the ways you can do it. Okay. Or we can also write it as cos 270 plus 45. Both are correct. So with both, you can check it out. The first one will give us 360 minus 45 is which quadrant? Both quadrant. quadrant. Both quadrant. All this positive or negative? Positive. 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 Or 45. 1 root 2. 1 by root 1. Answer for this is equal to 1 upon 2. Right? So this is the answer for the this one. So will you be able to do these questions or not? I think you yes, can. This is the first. So that's the reason we have here. Already we have studied these things. So this is the first. So you can take these if you want. You can take a screenshot. Now, shall I move on to the next screen? If you're comfortable, shall we move on? Yes? Yes, yes ma'am. Anybody till now having any problem? I don't think so, yes? So next screen will be. This we discussed earlier also. Now the next case we'll discuss. I'll increase the size of this a little bit. Okay, see now. This also we discussed that day sine 2k pi plus theta was sine theta. That was n denotes what? n denotes the number of rotation. Here we are having 2 pi. 2 pi is same as 360, okay? So this results already discussed. Now see, now we are doing case 2. Case 2 is what? Case 2 is when angle theta is more than 360, okay? This is a case 2. When angle is more than 360. Now, in this, the rule was that what we do, we divide the angle by 360 till remainder is less than 360. And then we do it. Like, suppose the first angle we want to do it, that is cos 240. Sorry, cos 840. 840. So, 840 is more than 360. Just divide 840 by 360. 840 by 360. How many times it will go? Two Twice. Times. Twice. 720. So it will be 720. Something is wrong with this. 720. Okay. What remains? 120. 120. 120. 120. 120. 120. 120. 120. 120 remainder is less. Right? So this cos 840, we can write it as Cos 840 will be written as eight forty will be equal to cos it is three sixty into two two rotations plus one twenty. Okay. So this will be equal to using the first fact and this is in the first quadrant. So this will be same as what? 120. Now 120 is the case one follows between 0 and 360 that you can complete and tell what is the answer for that? What is the answer for this one? Minus 1 by 2. Minus 1. So answer for this is minus 1 upon 2. Okay, one more we'll try out. Which, which which one you want to do it? There are eight questions. Just tell me which one we'll do. We'll do that only.
out of these eight tell me which one should be tracked just now we'll do course, 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 10 degree course, okay. so take the cosec cosec Six seventh one we are doing cosec minus one four one zero degrees. First, what is cosec of minus theta? It will be similar to sine. Cosec minus cosec minus, minus cosec because the cosec is one upon sine, so it will be similar to sine. It will be minus cosec one four this thing. Now it is more than three sixty, so we divide. One for this by three sixty. How many times it will go? Three times or four times? Yes, ma'am, three times. What is three into three sixty? One zero eight zero. One zero eight zero. Subtract and what could you get? Three hundred and thirty. Then thirty. What is it? Sorry. How much? Three hundred and thirty. Are you following it, girls? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma this angle yes, ma will be equal to minus cosec. How can we write this now? Three into three sixty. That is three rotations plus three thirty. So this is equal to minus cosec three thirty degrees. Now this is the first case. Angle is lying between zero and three sixty. How can we write three thirty? Three sixty minus thirty. Three sixty minus thirty. Three sixty minus thirty. Okay. So write it three sixty minus minus two. Minus two. two. Minus two. Nine, uh, minus two or plus two? Already minus sign is out there. Yes, already minus sign is outside there. Ma'am, plus two. Plus two. Okay. So plus two. So what is the answer? Plus two. So we have completed that. Anybody having any doubt? Please let me know. So this part is clear to everybody. Yes, ma'am. T sixty minus thirty, which is equal to see already minus sign is there. This is the fourth quadrant. In fourth quadrant, we know sign is negative. So if sign is negative, cosec is also negative. The positive negative negative becomes positive. Cosec thirty, and therefore answer is equal to two. Okay. Okay. Now this set of questions, next set of questions, third also third and fourth, they are based on the same uh, concept. Okay. So we come on to the third and the fourth set of question. Okay. Third question is, cos 90 plus theta, cos sec 270 plus theta, sin 180 plus theta, cos sec minus theta like that. So directly we start with the left hand side. It will be. Cos sec 90 plus theta. Oh, sorry, cos 90 plus theta. What is cos 90? Just do it fast. Now you know that angle 90 and 270. Right. It will be minus or plus sine theta. Second quadrant. Cos is second quadrant. Minus. 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 Min Again, 270 function will change. And cosec theta. Cosec theta. Very good, na? Cosec theta. Sine 180 plus theta. 
minus sin theta, cosec of minus theta, minus, minus cosec theta. theta. That is the first one. Then cos 270 minus theta. Minus sine. Minus sine. Minus sine theta. Something is wrong with this today. Okay. Minus sine theta it is. Minus sine theta. And tan 180 plus theta. Tan theta. Tan theta. Tan theta. Tan theta. Yes, it is 180 plus theta is tan theta. And now mm -hmm. just change into sine and cos and see you will get the result or not. Change into sine and cos. Are we getting the result or not? Just check it. Result right hand side is cos theta. I think you're getting. Yes, ma'am, we're getting the answer. Getting? Yes or no? See this. This is getting cancelled. Minus sin theta. Cosec theta is getting cancelled with this cosec theta. This negative sign is getting with this negative sign. Stan theta, we can change to sin theta upon cos theta. This can be written as sin theta upon cos theta. So sine theta will get cancelled and the result is cos theta. Clear? Yeah? Exactly same way. Those who have finished can try the fourth one. Exactly same way. Just very simple question. All the results we know. Fourth question. This is cos theta upon sin 90 plus theta. What is sin 90 plus theta? Cos theta. Cos theta. Cos. Sin 90 plus theta is cos theta. Plus next one. Sin of yes, minus theta. Yes, beta. Mom, how did we cancel the minus sign in the above question? This minus cosec theta then and this minus and minus I cancel. This entire Mom. see entire minus okay. sine theta is getting cancelled with this minus sine theta, right? Cosec yes, cosec theta goes to cosec theta and this negative with this negative. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, right. Now this next one. This will be equal to what? My sine of minus theta? Minus sine theta. Minus sine theta. Minus sine theta. Upon sine of 180 plus theta. Again, minus sine minus theta. Minus sin theta. Minus minus sin theta. Sin theta. And the last one also just see solve 1 plus 1 and see whether you're getting 3 or not. Getting 3 answer. Last time also should we come out? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The last is also equal to 1, okay? So this is the next set of question. Then this one is based on which formula? The next question. Is based on which formula? Already we have done this formula. Cause of. Just recall the first set of formula that is four fourth we discussed. Cause A plus B. Yes. Cause, cause A plus B. Yes. Right. Cause A plus B. Cos A plus B was? Cos A cos B minus sin. Cos A cos B minus sin. Cos B minus sin. Just it is application of the formula. Cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Minus sin A sin B. It is application of this only. Okay. And we know what is pi by 3, pi by 3 in terms of degrees? It is 60 degrees. 
cos a cos b minus sin a sin b cos 60 into cos x this side we are substituting okay anybody have any problem done or should i do it then yes ma'am yes ma'am so we move on to the next step now next page okay so similarly these two are there 6th and 7th you can complete that exactly the same way based on the formula sin a plus b this term this term is sin a minus b expand exactly same way this is cos a plus b and now we do one more a new set of formula just see so 6th and 7th you can take it down and we come to the type one formula next one tan a plus b this one will do so 6th and 7th will you be able to do na yes or no yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am so shall i start with tan a plus b see i told you all the formula we get from the first four set so this one we take it tan a plus b this we can write it as sin a plus b upon cos a plus b tan is sin upon cos now both the results we already know it so we write them this sin a cos b plus cos a that is the first one denominator will be cos a plus b what is it cos a cos a cos a cos, cos b, b minus sin a sin a sin b minus sin a sin b okay cos a cos b minus sin a sin b cos a cos b minus sin a sin b okay now looking at the right hand side can anybody suggest me what should be the next step just look at the right hand side what we want and what should be a next thing divide the numerator denominator and denominator by cos a cos b uh, i divide the numerator and denominator by cos a cos b how did you get that ma'am um, because tan a plus tan b is written and uh, denominator tan a tan b so sin upon cos is tan very good na huh? See, and one more thing is that if you just observe this side, this we are having a one year or not? This is one is year, so this one how can we get? We can get a one at this place if we divide by cos a cos b. So that is the next thing that we have to do. Next step is divide numerator and denominator by cos a cos b. so when you divide this term sin a upon this term will become sin a cos b divided by cos a cos b cos b will get cancelled so we'll be left with what tan a yes or no plus next term divide by cos a cos b what will remain tan b and 
So can we will remain here also? And here it is one minus what remains over here? Tan A, tan B. So this is your first result. One minus tan A, tan B. Exactly same way this one we can do the second one that is for you to complete that okay tan a minus b That we'll write same thing sin a plus b is a minus b upon cos a minus b exactly same way so the second result also Then we have after this tan pi by 4 plus x. So tan pi by 4 plus x is what? Same result we are using. Tan pi by 4 plus x. Pi by 4 is what angle in terms of degrees? 45 degrees. So just apply the formula. Tan pi by 4 plus x will be tan a that is tan a plus tan b upon 1 minus tan a tan b. And tan 45 is 1. So this result is equal to 1 minus tan x. 1 plus tan x, I'm sorry. 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x. This is an important result. And this way it is used more. From this side to this side it will be used more. Okay. 1 plus tan x upon 1 minus tan x is equal to this. Exactly the same way the second can be done. Tan pi by 4 minus x can be done exactly the same way. Okay, fine. Now see this I'm leaving for you as an assignment. Cot A plus B you can complete. Cot A plus B. 